Howdy folks, and welcome to another Lando show, weather edition. Look how mellow it, it looks. I love these kind of days, man, where it's just dreary, cloudy, the temperature's ideal, it's about 60. The humidity needs to come down a little bit. It is pretty steamy. You do break a sweat if you're doing something. But I, I just love days like this. But it may be mellow, good relaxing weather. I know most of you are a lot of you. Well, I don't like it like this. I like sunny. But after a while, I don't like. I get like tired of sun glaring in my eyes, wearing shades, having it glare in your window when you're trying to watch TV. Uh, excuse me. They see right over in there, right in there, a transmitter tower is right there. And over half of it's buried in the clouds. Low clouds. And here's something that's even more strange. And if I, if I let this go long enough, we might hear it. Thunder off in the distance. Now, you would, you know, this is the ideal day or, you know, or an everyday thing they get, like in Washington State along the West Coast. But, you know, right here in the half thunder, isn't it kind of where it's strange? And then all of a sudden, one time we had these back home in Texas, or I think it was even here as well. It was just like this, and I heard thunder off in the distance, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you didn't see it. You couldn't tell what direction it was coming from. It just got dark. It got dark. It almost made, it made the street lights come on. It just came, it became dark. And then the wind started blowing, and then the heavy rain came along, and then <laughs> a rake caught... I call them rakes because they rake all the hot, moist, muggy air. A cold front came through and just swept it all out. And then you saw, you know, those high, serious clouds, and then the clouds started to break up, and it cleared right up. You know, it was weird. But um, there's all kinds of rain out to our west. If you're that's supposed to hit here, I'm glad I got all the grocery shopping done. Um, I'll let this continue. If if it holds up like this, which I don't think it is, because they said it's really supposed to hit us around 2.30, 3 o'clock, and it's almost 1 o'clock right now. I'm having a cold one because I've been doing nothing but working all weekend from Wednesday all the way to really yesterday. Nothing in non-stop, and here it is Monday. And, um... I, I told a friend that I was going to make a video to help her get going, and I, I plan to do that later on, after the bad shit passes, after I'm confident that the power won't get blown out because of this at the end, and the catch doesn't seem to be bothering them, but we had a wild ring last night, man, as I, you've seen on the video, man, oh man. Well, the rain yesterday, and I didn't get a chance to record this. See, this had, the, the leak back here stopped. There's been a leak back here. Had to rip away all this insulation so we can pinpoint it. And that's why we kept this bucket here. And f I think for a year, over a year, it quit leaking there. Until last night, it started leaking again. This floor was all wet. This bucket was almost half full. And, yeah, see, there's still water right here. Uh, ever since Isaac. Isaac is really, Hurricane Isaac has really intensified the leaks. Of course, we haven't had a real rain since Isaac hit for four, something like four months. Well, it rained, but, you know, not enough to really make this roof leak. And it, st it leaked there a little bit, and it leaked there a little bit, and it filled this bucket right here up. So I had to put three of them back. So, but the leak's not as severe. The first time it leaked, this was all wet, and th two of these buckets were full. Well, only one was full. And plus that one in the other garage, it's leaking. So I'm just going to have to, it's supposed to clear up tomorrow, all the way through the weekend. So probably toward the weekend, I'm going to get back up there and spray it some more. Like you've seen in the last video. Um, I got to cut away those elephant ears. So the gentleman, Russell, y'all met in the um, 
Mardi Gras video. He's a handyman. He does good work. He lives over here. I got to cut away those elephant ears so he can get under there and fix a, another pipe that's leaking a drain pipe because they're so damn old. Since these houses, this is the house is 63 years old. Lloyd's is three years newer, built in '53, so it's exactly 60 years old. And ours, of course, is built in 1935 and put back here. And I assume they refurbished it up, the interior and all that, in 1948. I imagine they moved them here so they, you know, when they got electricity up in this part of town, that's when they started getting build crazy with more houses. Oh, uh, see there? Look, it's starting to get dark over there now. So it's one of those camouflage rainstorm clouds that where it just all of a sudden gets dark and starts pouring down. So I'm going to cut this off for now. Till next time.